it's Dr. Lily again. Today I'll show you some bridging progression exercises. So how to make bridging a little bit harder, a little bit more challenging so you can gain a little bit more glute and core strength. So simply by adding um, some other things, you know, like uh, bridging on a bosu or bridging on a half roll or bridging, you know, on an unsteady surface. So I'll show you bridging on a roll because a lot of people have a roll at home. So to, <clears throat> and this is making bridging a little bit more difficult and challenging for our body, giving our body a little bit more strength because it's an even surface. So um, you'll actually simply put your feet on a, on a roll and you will inhale, inflate your belly, exhale, pull your belly in, pull pelvic floor up, squeeze your glutes, and go up with exhalation. Go down with inhalation, and again, go up with exhalation while you're pulling your belly and squeezing your glute and pulling pelvic floor up. So you should do this exercise, one set of 20, while resting your feet on a roll. So the second way how you can make actually bridging more efficient, more challenging, and get a little bit of bracing in your pelvic floor is by adding ball squeeze. You can use the ball or you can use a pillow. So you put a ball in between your knees like this and then take a breath in and exhale, pull belly in, lift pelvic floor, squeeze the ball and lift pelvis up in a tabletop position. Inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. So this exercise is giving a lot of good br uh, bracing of the pelvic floor, it's nice and symmetric. It's really good for patients who have back pain, SI joint pain, or some pelvic issues. So, and then lastly, you know, SI joint patients actually, um, and back pain patients really benefit from um, strengthening glute lat junction. Um, because glute lat, lat junction is really strong stabilizer for low back. And uh, we accomplish that by pushing down on a surface of the bed. So you take a breath in, inflate your belly, and exhale, lift up, squeeze your shoulder blades, push down with your hands, and inhale on the way down. So exhale, pull belly, lift pelvic floor, lift whole pelvis and push down with your hands and inhale on the way down. So this exercise also should be repeated 20 times. And it's great bracing exercise for back pain, hip pain, SI joint pain, pelvic floor issues, even incontinence patients. Thank you very much.